Hi hey guys, let's look at the demoscopic appearance of squamous cell carcinoma. So squamous cell carcinoma is one of the most common um, skin malignancies. So other common malignancies are basal cell carcinomas, uh, melanomas. Um, yep, so squamous cell carcinoma is usually a keratinizing lesion, as we know. So it's uh, it could present as an ulcerated lesion, could present as an area of redness or erythema. Um, we could present as a raised lesion or even an area of keratinization. So how does it look on a demoscopy? When you place a demoscopy on a squamous scale carcinoma, what are some of those features that you'll be looking at um, that could come help you, you know, support your likely diagnosis? Number one is scale. There could be scaliness of the lesion. Um, a few squamous cell carcinomas are keratinizing lesions. So you could have some scaliness, you could have keratin plugs and or keratin pearls. So you could see, you know, thickened areas of of um of brownish, blackish um, keratin plugs or pearls when they when they appear um you know more clumps together. So there could be redness on that area, there could be ulceration, which usually shows that the lesion, of course, is progressing. It could be vascular, hypervascularity, increased vascularity, which actually you will see in most malignant lesions because hypervascularization or increased vascularization or new vascularization is something that is usually characteristic of malignancy, of neoplasia. You could have atypical blood vessel patterns, so there could be irregular blood vessels. You know, you could see roundish, glomerular-like um, blood vessels, which obviously you can also see in Bowen's disease. So we'll see a photo of some lesions which could actually be Bowen's disease, which is squamous cell carcinoma in situ. So let's progress. So looking at this lesion on demoscopy, you can see this area of hyperemia or redness. So this could also be an area of ulceration. So depending on how this lesion appears grossly, which means you haven't placed your demoscope on the lesion, how does this lesion appear? Has, is there an ulcer? There's no ulcer, then this will obviously be an area of erythema, redness. And then you can see this area of whitish, structureless area around this erythema, hyperemia. Um, you can see follicular openings, which are usually this yellowish. They look like, look like lipids. You know, you can areas of fatty lipid deposit, but they're follicular openings. You can see something like this. Before you place your demoscope on the lesion, usually most times for squamous cell carcinomas, even without a demoscope, you should have a high index of suspicion. Unlike melanomas, where most times, you know, a demoscope gives you a lot of clue. You know, in the in melanomas, you, your demoscope is highly useful. In squamous cell carcinomas is the macroscopic features usually that are usually very helpful, that are found to be very helpful. When you look at the skin lesion directly, you would have a high index of suspicion that this could be a squamous cell carcinoma. But demoscopy is also useful. So that's a typical keratin plug. And you can see keratin plugs. Um, these areas of whites, these whitey structureless areas are also said to be, of course, due to you could have when we looked at the basal cell carcinoma, we said structureless white, even even melanomas, white structureless areas we usually connote you know, various, you know destruction of normal tissues by the cancer cells, and of course, replacement of those normal tissues with fibrous tissue fibrosis. So of course, squamous cell carcinoma is also a malignancy. You could have those white structureless areas, but usually there's also keratin within those areas. So this, for the looking at this photo, is this, what would you say? Would you say this is a Bowen's disease or an invasive squamous cell carcinoma? Look at this lesion, it looks roundish, kind of circumscribed, circumscribed lesion. These, is likely to be a Bowen disease, which of course is a pre-malignancy, it's a squamous cell carcinoma in situ, which means an early stage of it's, it's a pre-malignant uh, squamous cell carcinoma. It's a pre-malignant lesion that's cold transform into a squamous cell carcinoma. You could see these blood vessels here having this roundish glomerular pattern, it looks like the glomerulus of a kidney. And that's something that's typically found in the Bowen's disease. Even though when I got these, this particular slide from the Primary Care Dermatology um, Society, it was called a squamous cell carcinoma, okay? So squamous cell carcinoma would have these roundish 
glomerular really like looking blood vessels. But for me, I would have looking at these. If I see these on a patient, especially if it's a flat, well circumscribed lesion with this glomerular really like blood vascular pattern, I more likely make a diagnosis of Bowen's disease. Of course, I need to follow the patient up, probably prescribe some um, topical imiquimod, you know, some topical 5 for 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 about four weeks to see what effect it has. And if it's not making, it, making an improvement, then that lesion needs to be excised for histological diagnosis, just to make sure it's not, it's just not, it has not transformed into a squamous muscle or carcinoma. Looking at this other lesion, still looks like a Bowen's disease, uh, could as well be a lesion that's transformed into a squamous cell carcinoma. So we need to be very careful in assessing this patient and making a clinical decision. You can see these blood vessel patterns also having the secular glomerular blood vessel, blood vessel pattern, which could pass for a Bowen's disease. It looks like the lesion is probably roundish and circumscribed. So depending on how this lesion looks, if it's an ulcerated lesion, then you will be making a diagnosis, a like sus clinical and diagnosis of a squamous cell carcinoma. If you say non-ulcerated lesion, you will be thinking this likely Bowen's disease, which is a squamous cell carcinoma in situ, and you might still need to excise it to make sure uh, you're getting the right histological diagnosis. This here is a keratin plug. You can see it's brownish, that keratin plug. Uh, you see the whitish structureless area from destruction of normal skin tissues, a replacement by, with fibrosis. Um, clearly, there's also keratin within there. Okay? So these are some of the things you see. If you've seen something that looks like this, you should be thinking, hmm, especially if the lesion as it's increasing in size, you know, you should be thinking this is likely a squamous cell carcinoma. So sources of this photo, Demnets and primary care dermatology society. So let's just have a quick recap. Things that you could commonly see, scaling, erythema, keratin plus or keratin pearls, you could have some ulceration, uh, increased vascularity, and you could see atypical vascular patterns like the glomerular patterns, you know, um, comma shapes, uh, different shapes of blood vessels within your lesion, typically erythema, keratin plug, as you can see, and we had a very clear keratin plug, which is there. Yeah, we looked at these well circumscribed lesion with glomerular vasculature or this vasculature pattern. We said this could pass for a Bowen's disease, especially if it's a non ulcerated lesion, a lesion that is not rapidly growing, you know, like it's not increasing in size. We said it's a of Bowen's disease and treat it, you know, with some um, anti 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 cytotol or some cytotoxic creams like imiquimod or 5 fluorouracil Do that for three to four weeks and observe. Um, review this patient again. If it's increasing in size or it's not resolving, you need to treat it as a suspected squamous cell carcinoma. Fine. You know, refer this patient for an excision biopsy to make a histological diagnosis. So if you think this video has been helpful, kindly like my video and subscribe to my channel and share with your colleagues and friends. Thank you. Cheers.